why anybody who had maybe an economics course in high school didn't see this coming uh, is, is shocking. Okay? The amount of dollars that have come crashing down on this co country is unbelievable. It's not measurable. And, um, you know, we think we have inflation now. Hey, Tim. How you doing? Hey. You, you go on a well-deserved vacation and spot price goes into the crapper. <clears throat> Gold, especially silver. Dude, what is going on? Well, we probably should you know, take a video to discuss the silver situation because um, certain segments of the silver industry have to abide by the COMEX. Um, you know, if you're buying contracts, you know, you want to own silver on paper, um, you go by their price, okay? If you are digging it out of the ground, you go by their price. If you're recycling tea sets and flatware, you go by their price. And uh, what are they, these refineries making? They're making COMEX blocks. You know, right. these thousand ounce bars. Thousand ounce bars. Um, but the guys that are digging it out of the ground, they're wasting their time. Um, yesterday it was what, uh, 2145, I think something like that. Unbelievable, okay. huh? At $21.45, when diesel fuel in this country is around between six and seven dollars a gallon, in other countries it's in the 12 to 14 dollars a gallon. Um, you can't afford to dig it out of the ground and sell it every ounce at $21.45. Can't do it. So anybody who's trying to do that has probably already shut down. Mm -hmm. um, so that takes whatever was getting back into the market in silver is not getting back in the market and it's gonna get worse. Um, we watch you all the time. Oh. <laughs> Put more videos up. We're watching. It was because of your YouTube videos that I called Tim to see if we could get some metal. I got a couple of gold. We, I was telling Tim, our local guy, I'm here in Wisconsin, and we have a small coin shop. And so he's having trouble getting gold easily. So um, I thought, well, I know somebody else in the business. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad you yeah. contacted Tim and and got some gold and thank you so much for watching my channel that really means oh, a lot oh my gosh well and we've told other people about it we know a few other stackers but I'm, I, you guys both have to send me your autograph oh. when, when Tim sets my gold <laughs> tell you what um how about if i have tim sign one of my yankee stacking stickers and i mail that out to you oh i would I love that. Seriously. That would be so fun. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, Pam. Okay. You too. Right. Thanks, Thank you. You said it's going to get a lot worse. Yeah, it right? is. Because you, you can't shut down an industry mm -hmm. and expect it to recover anytime soon. First of all, the COMEX has to keep the price, the price low because they, they are uh, way out of compliance when it comes to having the physical silver to back up their, their activities. Mm -hmm. uh, and so is everybody else. The, the problem is um, our biggest suppliers are not supplying anything. Okay, the U.S. Mint, I mean, obviously they're, they're gonna have temporary um, gaps in production just because they're having trouble getting the silver. Canadian Mint's the same thing. You know, they finally are taking orders for Maple Leafs again, but there's no clear cut shipping date. So I'm gonna, you know, take a chance on another one and um, see how long it takes to get here. You know, I, you know, I'd love to pick it up in Canada, but I don't think anybody can get them. Um, you know, because we are close enough, I could actually drive up there and pick it up if they'd give it to me. <laughs> I don't think they would. That would be a fun road trip, too. <laughs> a fun road trip. Because they, look at these, they noticed that I was in sympathy with the truckers and they probably put me in jail. <laughs> Get ready for SD Bullion's Monster Box sweepstakes that includes 500 Silver Eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. 
This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. The, the enough of the industry has to abide by the COMEX price that, um, and you know, any, any coin shop in the country is going to pay a whopping premium, no matter what the silver is, to get it because it's so little around. But the, um, you know, most of the mining is done outside this country. And the price of diesel fuel is probably in the 12, 14, 15 dollars a gallon range. Um, I don't know how to convert that to liters, but it's probably high for liters too. But you know, the, the price of silver is, the gap is getting wider and the availability is getting worse. Uh, gold, because of the, the the price of gold, which is so much, what's it, 80 times the price of silver. Right. Um, so they can sustain a little more of this. But, I mean, you hand Parker Schnabel a bill for uh, fuel oil and he'll probably shut the place down. You know, there's no sense in bringing in $12 million when you got to spend six or seven on fuel. But that's that's what's what's wrong with every bit of mining. It's It's the same for everything. So let's, you know, forget about copper. Yeah. Let's forget about nickel. Let's forget yeah. about um, you know any precious metals yeah. or any useful metals at all. I mean, that's that's everything is going to come crashing down. It seems to me that we are on a verge of a recession. We have negative first quarter. We got one more quarter to go. Yep. It's looking bad. In fact, I just looked at the productivity uh, uh, report for, for Q1. It was down. 7.5 percent that's the lowest mark uh, yeah. since 1947. Yeah. Yeah. so and productivity is what can help us through high inflation if we had you know higher productivity it would be less impactful but we're not seeing that we're seeing high no, inflation and, and we're low not productivity. seeing an improvement in the uh, the size of the workforce the workforce is still constrained mm -hmm. and it's not going up at all now the other thing i heard the other day is that um with this uh, most recent increase in interest rates, uh, it went right to the home mortgage market, right to the home mortgage market. And um, now are these banks taking advantage of people? Well, yeah, because they've been struggling to keep the banks afloat for how many years? And now, now more home mortgages are in the five to six range. All commodities are denominated in dollars. That's another problem because uh, cryptos are denominated in dollars. And, um, you know, they because we're still, for some reason, the world's reserve currency, probably half the world right now would seek an alternative if it were available to them. And when that happens, because they, you know, you know, Russia and China have already established their own uh, trade arrangements. But let's say they come up with a better standard, you know, that includes oil or includes gold or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but when they do that, the amount of dollars that have come crashing down on this country is unbelievable. It's not measurable. And, um, you know, we think we have inflation now. Um, the Unfortunately, the people in charge don't ever consider the ramifications. No right, matter right. what they're doing, they don't ever look, to, look ahead to see what their decisions will cost. So if we do go into a recession, like I think we're about to, will that have downward pressure on silver because of its industrial use? It shouldn't be downward pressure because it, it, in a recession, more people are, are inclined to want to protect their money. And uh, I think that's going to be a boost to silver only because silver is so cheap now. Um, you know, somebody who, if you want to protect a chunk of money, Traditionally, you'd put it into gold, but um, silver is so cheap in relation to gold. Uh, I think just about anything that the government tries is going to be a boost to silver. Now, are people are going to be, be, be able to buy it for less than twenty-two dollars an ounce. I don't think so. I think mm -hmm. everything is going to have a, a, um, a rising premium. This must be a good time for new stackers who thought they missed the boat on getting in on silver. Have you seen a lot of people coming in here trying to get in on that right now? Oh yeah, and a lot of it is that they, they're calling some of the online dealers and they're not you know, delivering anything in a hurry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's why, you know, I have to 
donate the, the entire day to trying to find gold and silver. Well, did you get me some gold? Well, that depends. I did, yes. I got you some gold. I got some pre-33 gold for you. <gasps> you did? Yeah. Oh, good. How about um, uh, buffalo? Did you get a buffalo? I got some buffaloes, too. All right. Uh, I have $100 right now, and oh, I just wow. figured, you know, the question is, like, for my money, what is the what is the best thing I could get? Is it I constitutional? Like those, is it rounds? I like the croissant stuffer at uh, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> because you Dunkin can't Donuts, eat those. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts has pretty good prices <laughs> now. Yeah. Wait a couple of months. Yeah. Because... Everything that they sell is trucked in as well. Mm -hmm. Everything you buy at Walmart is trucked in. Everything that you buy from through Amazon is trucked in. I mean, the, the stuff is about to hit the fan in any kind of distribution anywhere in this country. Oh, wow. And, you know, we're, we're seeing it in gold, silver. You know, I order something and they give me a shipping date, a you know, projected shipping date, and they're only missing by a week or two. Right. And, um, but uh, I've heard of several distribution organizations who are now, uh, yeah, we can't send that truck out empty. So I'll tell you what, after this drop off and that drop off and that drop off, you know, drive another hundred miles and drop off this and that. I mean, it's, I know that Walmart's doing, it. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they're, you know, they, fortunately for them, they got Walmarts everywhere, but um, a lot of distribution systems are, you know, shutting down until maybe tomorrow or the next day they'll have a full truck. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's affecting everything. And, you know, why anybody who had maybe an economics course in high school didn't see this coming uh, is, is shocking. Okay. And, but what are they worried about? Um, uh, the fact that, uh, what did Chuck Schumer say? Uh, with this decision by the Supreme Court, millions of women will be forced to have babies. Okay, and that's the most important thing to Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi made some similar statements. Um, what about closing the southern border? Because we don't have enough jobs for our own people and um, we can't really afford to feed all those people who are coming across the border. Why not close the border, try to get um, some of the people who are you know, still getting government benefits back to work, okay, so they can be productive. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they'd rather um, shut down this industry, shut that down industry, and someday we're going to have an alternative. Someday in the distant future, we're going to have an alternative. In the meantime, we'll just take care of all those people who can't afford to live. Uh, how's that working? <laughs> I mean... You know, maybe if they stop giving money to their billionaire campaign contributors, there might be some more money to help people who really need it. And the, the other thing is that um, in that population, homelessness is growing rapidly everywhere. I mean, here in Manchester, I mean, go anywhere in California. How are you solving this crisis? We're just giving them more tents. Nice. Yeah, the Libertads are very nice. Yeah. Very yeah, and that's nice. my last rule. Your last one. Last rule with Libertads. They go fast. They do. They're, People they're love very them. popular. Yeah, that's really nice. Because of the ratio between gold and silver. Silver is, um, it's actually bargain price. No mm -hmm. question about it. Even with the premiums, it's a bargain price. Uh, gold is kind of out of reach at $100, unfortunately. And right. If you got a you know, little gram a bar or around that would it's probably in the hundred dollar range um but i mean you know, anything in silver is really a bargain today even with the high premiums if you're buying an american eagle or a maple leaf the premiums are higher uh, a lot of the uh you know the um, cult coins are higher um but uh, you know if you're if you're patient and you don't mind waiting for delivery on some items Silver is probably the best way to go. The premiums haven't changed just because diesel at six fifty a gallon, your transportation costs pretty much are doubled. So the cost for it to get to your wholesaler, the cost for you to go to your wholesaler, all of that is more expensive. So even though silver has declined, you haven't seen the price, you know, in correlation go down with it. With the physical, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> no, physical silver. And it's not. I mean we were uh, we were paying a certain premium to get silver eagles. 
and it dropped three dollars and now we're paying a higher premium but they're costing the same price you want quarters yeah i want to i want to uh I got some good advice from somebody I saw on YouTube. Oh, so. no. <laughs> you don't have any more silver quarters for this guy, do you? I do. You can make an exception. For him, I have plenty. Thanks, Tim. How about me? Uh, uh, I'll look around. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> the real estate market, the price is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. But the interest rate was fairly low. Mm -hmm. And that's changing in a hurry. It is. Yeah. Very fast. Uh, so... Lock in the market, it was, you know, less than 3%. Is it, it, was it that way? No, even from the beginning of the year till now, you're talking four and a half to five and a quarter. Yeah. Right? It's gone up yeah. about three quarters of a and percent. And it's going to continue to go up. I yeah. Mean, the banks never lose money. Those are the mm. buffaloes. I mean, the dragons. Oh, wow. Those are pretty. Oh. What do you think of that? I like them. You get maybe you should just sneak one of those in there. Yeah, maybe I'll sneak one of these in and then do the rest in quarters. That is that's pretty fancy. Huh? I like it. I think we're gonna add that to the there we go. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, those are nice. Wow. That's what's left. That well, he he probably took half of that. them. <laughs> what yeah. is happening to my quarters? Then, I went and got another one because I, I knew you were coming in. <laughs> That's great. I want to take one of the dragons okay. and then I'll do the rest in quarters. Okay. Thank you. I see the uh, real danger when it comes to the world's reserve currency. I see real danger. And um, there's just, there's no desire of any country in the world to keep the dollar as the world's reserve currency. But what's the alternative? And why should they? Even even our Fed chairman said, well, there, there could be more than one reserve currency in the world. Thank you. Yes, he's, all, he's all but admitting that we're going to lose this there's unique the, status. What he meant was there's the dollar and then the digital currency that the rest of us are going to be on. That's what he <laughs> means. Oh, well, that was great. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Talk to you later. See ya. Keep thank fighting. you. Thank you. I'm impressed as to how professionally you packaged uh, that uh, particular shipment. He had a he had a hard time trying to open it. Yes. He was sure happy with what he got. Well, that was the intent. Make it very difficult to open. Um, when you last spoke on the phone, I think you had asked me if we could send you a uh, monster box, an empty monster yes, box. It was included, and I thank you for that. Well, in the, in that that day, um, I handed the monster box to Yankee and asked him to put it in a box and see if it would fit. You remember that? Yeah, Yankee's here now. He's he's trying to be, be trying to make a video now all day, and <laughs> he's going to have to figure out how to splice this together. <laughs> he usually is there trying to take everybody's opportunity to buy uh, silver. Especially the Constitutional, but I don't blame him as things have turned out. I don't blame him. Yeah, um, yeah, Yankee has been a big boost to my business, I have to admit. Yes, sir, he has. Uh, but anyways, I thought I'd just call to let you know that that shipment got here safely. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, I'll be there to Well, I appreciate that. We, um, I picked up more constitutional today. Um, I had an opportunity to, to buy some before it went to somebody else. And, um, you know, it's, I'm going to try to uh, keep accumulating as much silver as I can while it's still available. It's, it, um, it looks like the price is probably, that, that's quoted by the COMEX, is probably not going to go up much. But um, yeah. the premiums are still going up on just about everything silver. So uh, that's probably the honey that's got uh, Yankee there. That since you got uh, more constitutional, 
That's probably what attracted the Yankee in going to see you today. You know, I've always thought that he could smell it from oh, miles away. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Stay safe. And I will be calling you back. Very good. Thank you very much, Oscar. Okay, sir. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, that's a great call. It's uh, Nick Tam's day. Okay. She just she just emailed me, said, "Here's my address." So you can you, can, you need to test, autograph all those stickers, man. Test this out first. <laughs> They're all gonna want one. Oh, nice. That's how I spell my last name. There you go. Perfect. All right, now gold. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, what are you interested in mostly? Gold. And, I and, understand that. What type of gold? And, and I'm gonna grab one of these too. Because these things are beautiful. Which ones? The they dogs? really are. Just, oh, no, 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 no. The double dragon. Yeah. I want one of these. And I'll and thank you for signing this. <laughs> All right. So I, I would love to take a look at um, pre-33 gold mm -hmm. and, and, and the buffalo. Okay. Yeah. So Liberty, right? Yeah. They're all Liberty. They look pretty good, too. These are the they do. You know. And then the 20s. And most of the 10s and 20s are going to the guy who ordered them like two okay. months ago. Oh, wow. They're all nice. And he may be right about his pricing. Okay. I'm not going to argue with that. Yep. I mean, he had yep. some that were clean wow, and stuff. look at that. That is so beautiful. Yeah, cleaned ones? He he picked the cream of the crop, it looks like. Uh -huh. And you got your quarter eagles? Quarter ounces. Let's see. Two, four, six. There should be one more. Is it, is it buffalo? Not spoken for? Um, not all of them. I know I have to send two to one guy and two to another guy. So there's at least one that's not spoken for. And you had first crack at it. Look at them. Okay, so, oh man, I want, I want another buffalo. I, I have one, but I really want a second one. This is a 2009. Look at that. Something about that 24 karat man. All right, it was funny yep. because he ordered the constitutional after your video on the constitutional. And, um, you know, I looked at the prices, even in the gray sheet, they soared after, right after uh, your video. Really? So you, yeah, you caused that. I did not cause that. You did. Yeah, you did. You caused the price of all constitutional gold is soar. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so let me see here. Thanks very much, Tim. I'm excited about this. Take care. Well, thank you very much. All right. Have a good one. You know, you, you just got off having a vacation. You should be chill. You should be relaxed. <laughs> You're all worked up, Tim. Well, let me tell you what. <laughs> Sunday night, we got on a plane in Miami at 91 degrees. Got off the plane in Boston at 40 degrees. That like, puts you in a cranky mood. Where's, in there. where's the fairness in that? <laughs> What'd you do down Miami? Was it a race? Went to the uh, the first Formula One race in, ever uh, for Miami. They they did have a Formula One race in Florida. Um, I want to say about 1962 at Sebring. Sebring was an old airstrip. They turned into a track a long time ago. Um, but this is the first one since 1962 they had in Florida. It was actually very well done. They, they uh, built a track around the Dolphins uh, Stadium, and um, it was very well designed. They have one of the longest straightaways in Formula One, but no seating there and no general admission there. So if you want to see the cars go at speed, which is you know shocking in itself, um, unfortunately, he can't there, but they, uh, they had, you know, sit there two other back straights and, you know, we were sitting at one of those, you know, as they dive into a very difficult, uh, turn stretch, but, um, yeah, it was fun. The weather was terrific. With your daughters and my oldest daughter, oh, she's the, wonderful. the, um, best arranger in the family. She manages to take care of all the details and, um, all I have to do is, you know, contribute to the pot. You know, put some money in there. And well, I mean, money, pot. Right. I got, <laughs> I got you. Hey, you know, a lot of com commenters were saying, I think Tim needs a vacation. Yankee, tell yeah. Tim to t get a vacation. And I, I'm glad you did. I need another one. They're right. You need another one. I need another one as soon as possible. <laughs>